John O'Shea playing his last ever game today. I'm gonna miss you so much. All right, you want ultimate team coins. Good on you, lad. Well, go check out Mule Factory. They offer cheap and reliable coins. They offer 24 hour, seven days a week support. They have the cheapest and most secure comfort trades on the market. Use the code BROOKSY5 for 5% off. Link is in the description, boys. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And today, it brings me such bad news to tell you that John O'Shea, at the prime age of 38, is retiring today. Um, he has had such a wonderful career, played for Manchester United, played for Sunderland, played for Reading. We don't really talk about those two. And the best of all, playing for Ireland. God, I'm gonna miss him. The one memory that pops into my head straight away about Mr. John O'Shea, Captain Fantastic. That goal against Germany in the last minute. What does it get any sweeter than that? It does not. Now being real for a minute, I am really sad about this. I, I love John O'Shea with a passion. John O'Shea has been one of my favourite Irish players ever since I started watching football. So the fact that one of my icons growing up, as soon as I get printer ink, he's going up on the wall. You best believe it. He is one of my favourite Irish players of all time, will always be. John O'Shea, if you ever watch this for whatever reason, just know that I love you. You're an absolute don. And I hope you're the best for whatever you do, whether it be coaching, you'll do a great job in whatever you do. So, to pay homage to the guy, we're going to be playing him in some foot champs or div rivals. I haven't really decided yet. I'm probably going to be foot champs. We have a shadow card on him. I mean, he has not been graced with the best stats of all time. Let's be perfectly honest. In his latter years, he has slowed down a little bit. And I'm sure he would even agree with you on that one. This is the team we have him in. We have him in uh, the strong link with Kieran Westwood. we got Matt already right back and Shane Duffy at centre-back. Obviously, got the record breaker Shane Long up top. My man with the green eggs and ham. And the side of Adam B, baby. Anyways, his middle name is Francis. John Francis O'Shea. I didn't even know that. Known for his versatility playing... Pretty much a load of positions. Left back, right back, centre back, centre mid sometimes. I can remember him playing centre mid. He made 256 appearances for Manchester United and scored 10 goals. I'm actually baffled by that. For Ireland, he scored one... He, sorry, he played 118 games and scored three goals. One of them being the most important goal I think he's ever scored against Germany in the last second. Oh my god, I love him. Now, I know all these interesting facts about John O'Shea, but... Uh, I want to see what Bongo knows about me. So what I'm thinking is... For this bongo bit, I think we call up another mate of mine. Nerdfire, you guys know who Nerdfire is. I won't tell him that he's gonna be, you know, getting some 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 dirt dug up about him, some secrets and stuff like that. I won't tell him until I've texted about myself and all the kind of good stuff, and then we'll text about my friend Tom. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to see his reaction, it's gonna be great. Let's call him. I'm gonna call Nerdfire, as you can see. Where is he? Start video call, here we go. Is he gonna be there? There he is. <laughs> Look at his big stupid face. Okay, let's see what Bongo knows about him. Right, so how Bongo works, folks, is Bongo knows everything about everyone, okay? It's 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 really ingenious, actually, how it's done. Uh, what you gotta do is you gotta text love or secret. I think we're gonna go with secret first, and then maybe we'll do some love bit. Afterwards, secret with your full name and your town, pretty much. And if you're in Ireland, you use 57848. And if you're in the UK, you use 66668. You have to be 16 plus, and you need to have your bill pairs permission before you text Bongo, so just make sure you do that. Oh, oh wait, the answer, okay. Bongo knows Shane Duffy's no Number one, one, one fan, Brooksy HD secret is how he sh himself in the woods and have to wipe using leaves. <laughs> ha, what? As long as he avoided the nettles, there's nothing wrong with that. I have never nah. told anyone that story ever, man. Nah. <laughs> Bongo just hopes no one stepped in it and thought it was a cow pat. Oh, I'm actually, I'm nah. actually genuinely scared, man. <laughs> Bongo knows Brooksy has a blonde who loves him more than goalie when Shaw loves them boys. Oh my god, and influ intentionally influencing the betting market. Ryan and Tom know this girl looks even more fun than that trip to France with the guys. <laughs> what? How do they know this? Nah. Bro, they even said the guys, man. Wait, who is the blonde that I love? Oh my god, no. Wait. Is it who I think it is? Don't say it, Tom. Don't say it. Whatever you do, do not say who it is, okay? All right, here it is, Tom. <laughs> oh, what is it? Bongo knows pineapple head and pound <laughs> shots, Joe Weller's. <laughs> Joe Weller. Tom's secret is his morbid fear of anyone over five foot ten. I give up. No way. Nah. Brooksy knows it doesn't matter, though, because if not a case... Wait, it's not a case of if Tom becomes the second biggest YouTuber, it's when. Go on, they even gave you the, the flexing emoji. How do they know that stuff, man? That's ridiculous. Oh my. 
Bongo knows Sweaty Tom better get that Lynx Africa on because when it comes to him getting a girlfriend, it's happening! Brooksy heard, heard a D thinks he's nice and this D sends better news than Jennifer Lawrence. Hashtag the fappening. Tom. Tom. Who is this? Who is this D person? Oh my god. Bro, the fact that they know you're insecure about your sweat patches as well. No, oh, shut I, up. I can't believe I shouldn't that. have said that, should I? <laughs> I've got no mouth, right? Yeah, no. God. So boys, if you want to be involved with this, make sure you text love or secret with your full name and your town where you're from to 57848 if you're in Ireland and 66668 if you're in the UK. You must be 16 plus and you must have the Bill Perry's permission. Now let's get back to John O'Shea. All right, boys, the opponent we're going to be playing today. Is he any good? He's got a lot of bikes. For crying out loud, man. He's a League SBC merchant. And you'll notice that I've switched around the kits to Germany and we're Ireland. So uh, it's going to be a bit confusing because the first game is uh, the first, the second game you're going to see. So you're going to see that game after this game. Uh, so this is the second game we played, but it's the first game I'm showing you. And there's a reason for that. You should make sure to watch, uh, uh, to keep watching because the, sec the first game we played was incredible. Go on, John. Big John. Number four. Captain, my captain, what a beast. Oh my god, I made him captain and everything just because he deserves it, man. So think about John O'Shea. John O'Shea was never scared to play against players like Dennis Bergkamp or pa Patrick Kluivert or whatever. I mean, he might be scared now because Patrick Kluivert's just scored. We are playing Kieran Westwood in goal, don't forget that. But he was never scared to do it. He always did it, and he always did it very well. Oh my god, Juan Mata has just turned... Dennis Bergkamp inside out. He would be glad. <laughs> Shane Long's true. Left foot is not great. Doesn't matter. Bang it. Back of the net. That's what I'm talking about. Number 20. I mean, he's definitely not number 20. He'd be number like 9 for Ireland, I think. What a goal, mate. Go on, Johnny. Big John. That's what I'm talking about, man. You cannot get past him. Unless you've got pace. <laughs> this is a goal. No, it's not. He's just swung at midair. <laughs> nice. Go on, Duffers. The other Shane. Go on, Duffy. <laughs> He's eating nowhere with that. He looks so out of breath there. Look at his play. Where is he? Shane Long. Oh, unlucky, mate. Oh, that would have auto gold. Wait, auto gold? What? Oh, Marcus, it's all yours. It's only haps. What's the haps? Nothing, mate. Matt doherty has got it off you, pal. Easy as you like, yeah. He's got three star week for you. Ain't scoring. It's Kieran on Westwood, man. Please be better. Please be better. Shane O. Johnny! Yes, Papa! Kieran, mate, you're a goalkeeper, bro. You can catch stuff, yeah? You do realize this, yeah? He's not greedy! He's not greedy! Juan Mat is backed it in the net! I thought he missed, not gonna lie, but Juan Mat has banged it in. Oh, I pressed Orby LB, my bad. Oh my god! Please, Johnny! No, Papa, no! No! God! This guy is so bad and he's winning against me. It's Kieran Westwood, man, I'm telling you. That's where Darren Randolph starts. Go on, John. It's only Memphis the Pie. It's only Memphis the Pie. Absolute. Oh, yes. I wasn't going to say the word. Brilliant. James Collins. What a ping rooney Felipe Anderson! That was just a simple Y pass across the box to Felipe. What a pass, Jimmy. You beast. Calm the F1 if he scores that. Ah! Oh, that hurts me, man. That hurts me so much. Anyways, on to the next game. All right, boys, here we go as we get interrupted by my dog. That would be great. He's got a Bundesliga team. It's not actually that good. Oh, Aaron Ramsey's got it. Where's Shano? Oh, we went for it. We went for it. You know, th nah, this isn't this isn't doing it for me. This is not doing it for me at all. Hold on one second. How are we going to see the best of John O'Shea if he doesn't play in an attacking quantity? You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is going to bring Aaron Ramsey to centre back. We're not going to play him there. Lucas Torreira is going back there. Do we have a centre back? Of course. We've got Antonio Rudiger. Now, John O'Shea is playing striker today, boys. And I think that's the only fitting way to play John O'Shea in his farewell match because he's such a versatile player, he could, he, he could play anywhere back in the day. I want everyone to use the hashtag goodbye O'Shea in, in the comment section, in on Twitter, on Instagram, all the kind of good stuff. And I'll like and retweet all, all the ones and stuff like that. But uh, it really is emotional for me, man. It really is. Right, so Rudiger's coming on now. We've got John O'Shea playing striker. This, imagine he scores. I will go off the chain, boys. And Max Cruz has scored. So it's even sadder now. Johnny! Oh, he, he knows where the goal is. 
I mean, he might need to go to Specsavers first, but he knows where it is. John? Oh, he... Go on! Shane Long, please! Oh, that was such a little cheeky slip. Oh, my God. Is he going to score here? No, he's not. Go on, Shane Long, you beast! Where's Johnny? Where's John O'Shea? Let's hug it out with Johnny. No, Johnny, don't push him away. There we go! Oh, my God. It breaks my heart, man. It really does. How fitting is it we have Shane Duffy and John O'Shea in the same team? And Kieran Westwood. Oh, my God. As soon as we can get rid of Richie Kyo, we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. Here we go. John O'Shea in the box or the other guy, Jonathan Tatt. Lit, lit. Yep. And I just, I just, all I want in this episode is for John O'Shea to score. I don't care if it's a penalty. John! John O'Shea! No way! You actually managed to get him the bang in a goal! What a finish, man! Oh my bro, Ronaldo would be happy to score that. Messi would be happy to score that. That is incredible! Oh, I was literally just saying that's all I wanted as well, bro. This it's written in the stars. It's written in the bleeding stars, mate. We're winning this game. Shane Duffy's block. Oh, come on, man. This is just sad now at this point. <laughs> I think I don't think we can top what just happened in the, in that game in another game. Um, once again, boys, this is... John O'Shea has been one of my idols from starting to watch football up until now. As I said, I remember watching him in the World Cup. Um, Euros, all that kind of stuff, man. He's just been a stalwart of the Irish team in general. Um, that's where I remember him most. I'm gonna miss him, man. I re really am. I mean, when he retired for Ireland, it, it wasn't really the same because it didn't really hit home. But now he's going forever. It does kind of hit home, you know what I'm saying? It, it sucks. It really does suck. But he's had a fantastic career. Been a beast for United. Been a beast for Ireland specifically. Sunderland, he was all right. Then they got relegated and he, you know, he kind of went downhill a bit. But that's just what happens with age. He is one of my favorite all-time Irish players. Always will be. I can remember in 2002... When he was at the World Cup, I can't even remember if he played at the World Cup, but I, I can remember the squad list. He was obviously on it. Um, yeah, John O'Shea will never be forgotten by me. Let's put it that way. So if you ever watch this video, I don't know what he, why he would. Uh, big up, lad. Like, great Irish player you are. As I said, as soon as I can get some printing ink, he's going right up on the wall alongside Shane Long, mate. You both deserve it. Anyways, boys, thanks very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. It's an emotional goodbye today. <laughs> Bye.